here tonight, Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales tells the Filipino community in New York there is enough evidence to prove the guilt of Senators Juan Ponce Andrile, Bong Revilla, and Jingoy Estrada who have been linked to the pork barrel scam. Don Tagala has details. The Philippines' top graft buster is in New York teaching her American counterpart some tried and tested strategies used by one who battles corruption almost on a daily basis. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales is on this study tour on the invitation of U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines, Philip Goldberg. You know what he said? And why haven't you gone to the States? My answer was, because no one has invited me. <laughs> and readily he said, he, he whispered something to Mission Director Gloria Steele of the USA, and Gloria Steele started scribbling her notes on her pad, and then he said, this much we can promise you as of now. But a lot of work awaits back home, where 20 senators and about 88 congressmen are implicated in what is now known as the pork barrel scam, a scheme that embezzled government of billions of pesos reportedly perpetrated by a woman who convinced politicians to put their congressional allocations into her bogus nonprofit organizations in exchange for kickbacks. Morales says, just recently, her office found probable cause to indict Senators Juan Ponce Enrile, Bong Revilla, and Jingo Estrada, as well as the alleged mastermind Janet Napolis for plunder and graft. Of course, they filed a motion for reconsideration, and I understand they are now awaiting my return. <laughs> I'm prepared to face them. I don't know. I, I, I was telling them I have yet to study in earnest the motions for reconsideration because not all of them receive real resolutions all at the same time. So the motions for reconsideration will find one after another. So only God knows if they will be filed and they will be indicted actually in court. While Morales says there is no specific time frame for her to sign the charges against the three senators, she gave this assurance to the Filipino community at this town hall meeting in New York. Does the office of the ombudsman have enough evidence to secure the conviction of the three senators? That's supposed to be confidential. <laughs> but, 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 given the fact that the ombudsman has already come up with a resolution that there's probable cause, to believe that a crime was committed, crimes were committed, and that the respondents are probably guilty, of course, the Ombudsman would not go to court without proper ammunition. We have enough evidence. Community leader Lloyd and Nicholas Lewis says that Filipinos should bear with the Ombudsman's meticulous handling of this case. Kung butas-butas o kulang ng mga dokumento ang ipipresent mo, ma, you know, ma-acquit lang sila. So I'm glad that she's taking her time and making it really airtight para wala nang ligtas. Don Tagala, ABS-CBN News, New York City, New York.